I don't know how far they've gone with the protests in Lagos and all of that. Today she's talking about 50% of imported pharmaceuticals in this country being fake. Yesterday in the news we also read about um, a group of persons who were taking drugs from... Uh, I think uh, somewhere in the Badagri Express or Kokomaiko area of Lagos State to so somewhere in the, uh, the Balogun market. And then all of these injections has expired since 2016. And these people were caught, a young man and another 60-something year old, that they were taking it somewhere in a Balogun market where the person there is going to revamp it and make so that it, could be, it becomes a current issue. Now, as much as we applaud what uh, Professor Boshishola is doing with NAFDAQ, but the main concern we have is not even those imported, because I believe with a good mechanism, the immigration and the customs can check all of that. Okay? Good. Let's talk about the one that is going on in Nigeria. What mechanism were they going to use to change injections that had expired since 2016? Shouldn't that be a major concern for her to unravel who these people are, the person that is going to make these changes? Because if that person doesn't exist, these people wouldn't have seen any value for the drugs that they have. Shouldn't that be a major concern to clean the, the system internally so that you build a standard, create awareness around it, people cannot come in to check that? Why are we... And how, how, how much are we even going to... Should we even believe these indices of 50% pharmaceuticals products are fake? Okay, so that's a complication. Um, we're going to be talking about, um, first, um, strengthening our institutions. We've been talking about this over time. Mm -hmm. you, see, you still see somebody coming as a DG from nowhere because he, he knows uh, who knows who knows the president or he worked in the campaign organization. And so uh, the only thing I need is just settle me with NAFDA. That's my own. Or settle me with uh, this thing. After that issue, we'll talk about the issue of one lopsided appointment. You see, look, Nigerians are very smart. When you think that you have held on to government, they will leave government and go to the private or any other area. The world is so strong, and these aspects are the ones that most are, that mostly affect the life of the common people. Look, I saw on Facebook a, a young, a very young friend of mine. He said, "Look, oh, the, 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 talking about the ban of uh, this alcohol." He mm -hmm. said, "Oh, we the thing that will inspire." Now. That's, that's an, in, um, as, an, uh, an innocent, careless word he spoke, he, mm. he, he wrote down. But if you look at it, there's a deep meaning. What that means is, look, a lot of people there who, who would love alcohol at some point, they could reach these very small the ones small because ones. they are cheaper. Mm -hmm. Because everywhere is hard, I can tell you, place a drug that has expired in 2016 and say it is a hundred, it's 100 naira. And place the other one that is current and is even effective and say it is 1,500 naira, people will pick the one that is expired, knowing it is expired. Because they cannot afford this one. So if you, do, if you, if you must do anything to, to make this system better, please, it should be holistic. You talked about how did we get these things into the country in the first place. Why do you allow these things get into the house and you start shouting how who brought the smelly stuff into the compound, into my house? You should stop it from the gates in the first place. Gate man should be questioned. How did it come in? Now, above that, we should also look at the issue of the syndicate, the syndication. They have a group. And these people, they know them. They know they are big names. They have money. They are the ones throwing money everywhere. They are, these guys are rich. These guys who import these things, I used to know of those, I don't want to mention names, I used to know of those people there. They have um, um, pharmaceutical industries here and there. They don't manufacture anything. What they do is they label and label. They just get it from India, Pakistan, Nepal, all of this Southeast, um, Southeast Asia, and they pull it down here. Meanwhile, where they are bringing it from, if you are caught in all of this um, counterfeiting, you will be killed. It's straight. It will be killed. Mm. So, this country needs a lot. It's enough. We keep talking about this thing. Keep talking about this thing. Strengthen our institution. Make sure you are balanced in your in, in, in your view, you know, to this effect that the common men, the common Nigerians are the ones at the receiving end. How do we, how do you expect to say, 
look oh, there's a paper alcohol look the alcohol in the market fake alcohol that's why you see people eyes side our eyes so as i said them. shouldn't sh this um, prophet mojo should i be more concerned because it's like okay what 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 should we do with this it still boils down to your responsibility that is lacking somewhere how do you clean the internal market shouldn't she be more concerned about cleaning the market from the inside than worrying about what is coming into the country that you can just have immigration or customs take care of i'm sure it is in the course of you know her duty that she discovered this of course you know she must have you know ran into the media and then she needed to give some, say some something all right 